Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to change the position and transparency for elements in your Canva projects. And as well as that, I will show you how to lock and duplicate elements in your projects as well. So let's get straight into it. So first, I will show you how to change the position of elements in your Canva project. So if I put this text over this image, as you can see, the text will appear at the top. If I want to reposition it so that the image is above the text, I can either click onto the image, go to position and forward, or I could have clicked onto the text, gone to position and then click onto backward. So now I will show you how to do it the other way around. So I'll click onto the image and I'll go to position. And because I want the text in front of the image, I will click backward. So now the image will go to the back of the project. If you have even more elements in your project, let's say for example, three different elements, I'll add this image as well. And I will close this side panel. Now we cannot see the image of the books. So in order to make it visible again, I'm going to click onto this new image and I'm going to go to position. And now I'll click backward again. So as you can see, this position tool is absolutely key if you have multiple elements in your design. Now I will show you how to change the transparency for elements in your design on a Canva project. So for example, I'll click onto this image here. And at the moment, you cannot see anything that is behind this particular image. So if I now click onto this little icon up here, I can change the transparency. So at the moment it is 100. If I now change it to 50, we can now see the skyline image through the image of the books because we have lowered the transparency for this image. So if I bring it down here, as you can see, we can look straight through this image. So that is how you can change the transparency for elements in your project. Now I will show you how to lock different elements. So say for example, I want to select the text element here and also the image of the books. I will try and click and drag to select both of them, but instead I will just move this image here. In order to make it so that we can select both of these elements without moving this image, what we want to do is select this image and then click onto this padlock up here. Now, if I try and select this text element here and the picture of the books just here at the same time, the image in the background that we have just locked will no longer interfere. So that is how you lock elements in your projects in Canva. If you want to unlock it again, you simply need to click onto it and then click the padlock again. Now we can move it around however we want it to be. So that is another handy feature. Finally, I'm going to show you how to duplicate your elements. So I'll click onto this text element here. And in order to duplicate it, I just want to click onto this icon up here. Now, as you can see, this text element has been duplicated a load of times. So there we go. That is all for this video. You should now know how to reposition elements, change the transparency for your elements, and also lock and duplicate your elements as well. I hope that you learned something new from this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.